Hello. Today uh, we are going to see this uh, Atmega 328 GSM development kit uh, from Zalkino Technologies. Okay. Okay. Um, in this session, we'll be seeing introduction, features, block diagram, and our service and sample project and uh, pricing of the board and my contact okay okay uh, atmega 328 p-au is a popular microcontroller from atmel uh, now it's uh, owned by microchip technology okay commonly used in various embedded systems and Arduino boards okay it has uh, like 32 kb of flash memory 1 kb of uh, eprom and 2 kb of sram okay and um, in this boards we also have this uh, gsm sim 800l um, it's a syncom gsm module okay uh, you can uh, use it for the iot application okay and it also has um, lcd 16 cross to headers you can connect LC lcd 16 cross to display and it also has four channel relay and one channel mosfet you can connect to motor or solenoid wall okay for your projects okay these are the features it has this uh, sim 800l at mega 328 p-au mcu high voltage production like in like we have used uh, optocoupler in, in all the circuits like relay and mosfet okay uh, four relays optocoupler bmp 180 uh, we have given this adder you can directly connect bosch bmp 180 uh, to measure the temperature barometric pressure and altitude okay it also has this lcd 16 cross 2 connector you can um, solder these pins and you can directly connect uh, uh, lcd 16 cross 2 display okay uh, and it has one channel mosfet uh, this is the mosfet uh, like you can connect um, you can connect any motor or solenoid valve any 12 volt dc load you can connect okay coming to the block diagram uh, uh, like we use uh, this 12 volt to uh, 2 volt 2 ampere uh, adapter or uh, you can also use uh, transformer because we have added this uh, bridge rectifier also in our circuit okay mm, it has three power supply one is um, for uh, sim 800 l uh, it needs four voltage okay for that we have uh, designed uh, dc dc regulator using lm2596 adjustable voltage regulator okay and this gives uh, uh, like four voltage which is needed by the sim 800 radial gsm module okay and for atmega 328p uh, um, we are using 7805 voltage regulator um, it will give sufficient uh, 5 voltage uh, to the microcontroller okay and uh, we have also added additional LDO that is AMS 3117 uh, 3 voltage uh, uh, fixed uh, LDO uh, you can uh, connect any sensors okay our OLED display uh, which is uh, which works on 3.3 voltage okay we have used uh, like we have added that OLED header also we can directly connect OLED uh, display to this board okay and additionally you have buzzer GPS header uh, in uh, to this header you can directly connect Neo6 GPS module which is uh, like popular in the uh, market you can directly add uh, connect those four pins uh, to this header okay and we have one channel MOSFET uh, which is uh, protected by this optocoupler okay um, you can connect any uh, dc motor or solenoid lock or um, any other uh, 12 voltage load to this mosfet output okay and um, we have added this uh, uh, header uh, 
for this 16 cross 2 display you can directly uh, use the jumper wire or you can directly connect LCD 16 cross 2 display to that one okay and to control the um, AC loads we have used uh, four channel relay res okay mm, you can connect any uh, bulb fan or tv any any ac loads okay and bmp 180 uh, header okay you can directly connect a bmp 180 uh, mem sensor from bosch um, um, by using that you can read temperature barometric pressure and altitude okay and we have we have given uh, one test led um okay which is connected to uh, one of the gpio of the atmega 328 p-au microcontroller okay and um, we have also added this uh, ftdi header um you can directly connect ftdi uh, serial to ttl uh, programmer um, on this header and uh, you can read the serial logs okay mm. disadvantages of using arduino uno um, to uh, to do any project like you will face a lot of pro uh, problems uh, because you need to uh, connect multiple wires you need to use multiple uh, jumper wires uh, it, it is very tedious process okay uh, see uh, imagine like if you are uh, if you want to add this uh, lcd 16 cross 2 display to the arduino board then um, if you are working on 4 bit mode then you need to connect six gpo pins one is uh, register select enable and uh, uh, d4 d6 uh, d4 d5 d6 d7 these are the pins you need to connect but from that uh, you also need to connect potentiometer and uh, resistor to the led and um, vcc and ground uh, to the lcd 16 cross 2 display okay and uh, in arduino uh, you will get only um, two 5 volt pins okay uh, which is not sufficient uh, if you are doing uh, any uh, project um, okay now this is the uh, this is the problem which most of the uh, students are uh, facing uh, students obvious are facing um, while doing the uh, project using this uh, Arduino Uno okay and um, and one one more project is um, if you want to connect GPS module to the Arduino Uno then um, you need to use a separate power supply okay um, because um, this modules only work on uh, 3.8 to 4.2 voltage okay but normally uh, like most of the boards are tuned to 4 voltage uh, for that uh, you may need this uh, lm2596 adjustable regulator okay um, in few in some boards it is already included in this uh, um, board only but uh, like modules like sim 800l if you are using sim 800l module uh, you may need to use uh, this external voltage uh, regulator uh, um, board um, and using this um, again uh, uh, like you will face a lot of uh, problem um, you need to solder multiple wires and you need to um, connect it to Arduino uh, this is the uh, like problem which we face usually okay other than that if you want to uh, interface uh, like uh, if you want to control any uh, ac loads um, you need to uh, like you need to buy separate four channel relay and you need to uh, connect those uh, jumper wire to the arduino arduino port mm, for that uh, like if you have already connected uh, the, those 5 volt lines 5 volt on ground ground lines to another module mm, like uh, you it will be not sufficient uh, like uh, the Arduino Uno um, like uh, it doesn't provide sufficient uh, like uh, VCC pins uh, to connect multiple uh, external development boards okay these are the problems uh, which we usually uh, face while doing the projects okay um, 
and um, this is the BMP 180 uh, again um, like if you are uh, connecting any I2C uh, based sensors um, like there will be only uh, two sets of I2C pins available in the Arduino Uno uh, again this is the problem okay uh, like you can't uh, like you can't add multiple um, I2C uh, like devices because the pin shortage is there okay and yeah this is the gps uh, gps module okay again uh, the same problem like vcc and ground um, you will be short with this two pins okay to overcome all these things we have designed all in one board um, in that board like everything is integrated in single board okay Mm, and mm, these are the service which we provide like custom PCB design and we also take bulk order like if you if you want any uh, like more than 50 100 200 boards you can order it like we will deliver it within two weeks okay and we also uh, provide firmware support for these boards okay now this is one of the project um, we have done using this board okay um, like by using this board um, like we used to send this uh, temperature humidity uh, altitude data um, to the cloud okay and this is our website zolkino.com and we have listed many other boards as well okay uh, you can check it later This is the Atmegan GSM development board. Mm, this is this is also same, but uh, color is different. This is a red color one, and uh, this is ESP32 um, LCD development kit. Okay, and this is also uh, Atmega 328 GSM board uh, without four relays. Okay, and uh, this is similar to Node MCU. Um, uh, this board has um, Two relays, one MOSFET, uh, one uh, like um, you can connect to LED display here, and you can add uh, this BMP 180 uh, sensor to this breakout headers. Okay, and cost of this board is um, for uh, like a development kit with four relays, uh, it will come around 1800 rupees. Um, without four relays, uh, it will be around 1500 rupees. And if you want G GPS module, um, like additional uh, 500 rupees, uh, it will come. Okay, you can order uh, from the zolkeno.com uh, website. Okay, mm. this is my contact number, this is a uh, WhatsApp number, uh, this is our website zolkeno.com. And this is my email ID, amaraxr at gmail.com. And this is my hometown, Chikmagalur, Karnataka.